Hello, my name is Rafael Hernandez, and I'm going to be showing you today how to use a Google Sites Google Presentation slider. Um, what this will allow you to do is embed your Google presentation as a slider on Google Sites. Now, um, here's a working example on SEOWebPower.com. Uh, this is a Google Slides or Google presentation, and uh, we have gone ahead and we've embedded it onto the site. Uh, as you can see on the bottom right, there's a couple of arrows that allow us to go back, go forward. And um, these are some options that you can set inside the actual presentation or Google Slides. Now, um, in this presentation, I'm going to be using a um, slider that I've already set up, a um, slider that I use for example purposes. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and head over to our um, Google site that we're going to be uh, embedding our presentation into and sign in and make sure you're in edit mode. Once you're in edit mode, you can go ahead and uh, click the pencil and you'll be uh, just, you'll see the a box with the bounding or containing areas showing up here. Next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and in, if you're in the Google uh, sites, tutorial templates and forum, I have listed a couple of links here that will show you um, the resources to, in order to get this code, which is the gadgets by SEO web powered link. Once you click on that, you'll be taken directly to the site. If you do not uh, have access to that or know how, just go to seowebpower.com and then under the dev or development uh, tab, you will see the Google sites gadgets link uh, there. Once you're in the actual uh, Google uh, sites, uh, let me actually open that up so you can see what it looks like when you open it up. Once you're in the actual site, you will see the home page, and then there is a tab that says gadget directory. In the gadget directory, there is a one of these boxes which contains the Google presentation slide slider for Google sites. So that's here, Google presentation slide slider for Google sites. Basically, it's just a Google presentation embedded in Google sites. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to be using this URL in just a moment uh, to request the gadget on our Google site. Once you're in edit mode in your Google site, you can insert uh, in the tab here, insert and more gadgets option. And in, you'll be displayed with a gallery of gadgets, but we're going to go ahead and get a gadget uh, by URL. And that URL will actually come from this area in this specific uh, box. So we're gonna go ahead and embed it here. And one thing that I notice happens is sometimes when you paste the code in, it doesn't work right away. Uh, this box stays like grayed out instead of being black like the cancel button. But once you paste the code in, it will turn um, black like this or darker. But um, if it's not doing that, you can always just go to the front of the code and backspace. And I seems for some reason that seems to work. Once we add, we're gonna get uh, some more options here. For the gadget itself um, now we go ahead and go to the google drive find your google uh, presentation or google slides that you want to embed if you haven't created one you can click new more um, google slides under the um, options if it's not there you can go to more and find it there but most of the time it's right in the, in the first uh, pop-up window you click on google slides make your presentation and then once you're done and you're ready to embed it, you can go ahead and actually uh, go to the file tab, which is on the top left hand corner. And we're going to use the publish to web. As you can see for my slide, I have gone ahead and I created five slides. I have arrows so that people can go back and forth. So now I'm ready to uh, embed it. I'm going to go ahead and file uh, publish to the web. And here we're going to get two options, link and embed. I recommend using embed just because I feel that there's a slight difference. Now, in order to get everything, we have to make sure that uh, this is published. Uh, if, if There's a little drop down error here that will give you pretty much the same option, which is the publish, this is start publishing. Um, I typically use the uh, medium size just because that's the, um, I call it the universal size, but it's 960. There's a whole thing about it um, behind it. If you want to know more about that, go to 960.gs.com. Or uh, actually, no, it's uh, 960.gs, not, not, not .com, just 960.gs. Anyway, um, once we choose our size, and I usually stick with medium, and you don't have to worry about these options because the gadget will actually have those options in it. We're going to go ahead and publish. 
it's going to say, are you sure you want to publish the selection? That means you want to make it public. Yes, we want to publish it. Now it's going to go ahead and give you this iframe, which uh, you will use to embed onto the site. I usually copy this block text, um, this, this, all this code, and I bring it to something like notepad or some type of simple text editor. And all I want to do is copy from the source after this, uh, from after the source here, this uh, quotation and go all the way until I get to before that slash embed. So right before this, you want to go ahead and uh, stop there. And if you want to start from that first quotation, once I have that, I can uh, go ahead and go to my um, Google sites website and paste that under the publish to web URL, which is that actual code itself. Now it says auto start. Do you want it to auto start one of the page loads? Yes. Do you want it to loop? Once the presentation is done, all the slides go through. Do you want it to start over? Yes. How, how long do you want the pause to be between each transition? I want it to be three seconds. My width is 960. My height is 569. Where am I getting these sizes? When I go here, 960, 569, there's more options and you can actually customize it. If you want to make it larger. Just make sure whatever the size is, you want to uh, insert it here where it says width and height and um, this same width here. Now this is different because this is actually what we're going to use to crop off the excess uh, part of the slide. And I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, I go ahead and I remove these two checkboxes just because they create excess or additional options that I don't want on my slider. Once I am done and I'm, I'm happy with my options, I hit OK. You're going to see it appear there. And then um, we're going to go ahead and uh, save this and see what it looks like. So it's saving and there we are. It has now appeared on my website. And all these options are clickable. I can click through. As you can see, my little pagination is also working and it's ready to uh, to show the world. Now, uh, I had mentioned about the height. Yes, if you increase the height here, you're going to see excess um, of the gadget that you don't want. So as you'll see right now, there's a piece down here showing up and you can see my crop marks that I use as part of the template. So I typically will make the uh, height shorter just to cut that off. And I, I have noticed that 400 tends to with with my template version it tends to work pretty well. And that is it. After that, you have your slider and it's ready to view. And that, that is all. If uh, you have any questions, feel free to uh, let me know um, in the forum or uh, you can leave a comment. I'll try to check them as much as possible. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos I'll be putting out in the near future. Thank you. Bye.